and we've we've been selling a terrific number of cattle off of the Texas ranches, and this is going to be very hard to recover from. It's it's just devastating. He's calling all Americans of all walks of life to seek him, to return to him, to experience his love and his grace and his acceptance. Experience a fulfilled life regardless of the circumstances. Someday future historians will record this event and they'll say that something happened in August the 6th in Houston, Texas, where a fresh anointing went across America touching churches and pastors. Thank you for what you're doing. More than 90% of the state is in either exceptional drought or extreme drought. The entire state is in one, one stage of drought or another. That's the remarkable thing is the extent and the, the severity of the drought combined. Uh, probably 1956 was the last year that we had a, a drought company. are prone, we are all idiots. I call people morons, idiots on the show, and I get hate for it. Why are you doing that? You've, you've sacrificed the, the high ground. No, I haven't. I'm not assessing their entire character. I'm saying on this particular subject, my opinion is that you're an idiot, and the facts will bear that out. <laughs> and I'm also, by the way, an idiot, and so is everybody in this room. We are all boneheadedly stupid about many, many things, and we are conditioned um, to behave in ways where we reach incorrect conclusions. The difference is that some of us recognize this and would actually like to change it, and others aren't aware. There's this built-in overconfidence that religion, uh, many religions, offer people where they are so assured, I know that I know that I know that I know that Jesus is Lord, that it's absurd to them to think that it might not be true. Yeah, they don't like it when they bring up that if you know something, then you can show it. Yeah.